here in Scotland, the lockdown is still a little bit on the strict side, so I'm kind of bending the rules a little bit. We are allowed to go out and do some exercise on bikes, so that's what I'm doing. Maybe I'm just doing a few more stunts than normal. I'm gonna try and take it easy. I've come to my favorite place for testing new bikes. Nothing too big today, and I'm gonna see how my retro bike rides. I spent a while trying to get this front brake bedded in on the way here, but back brake, awesome. That's oh, awesome already. One thing I am noticing is the frame feels massive. I'm so used to the bed not being anything around my legs. Whereas this, oh my God, having a seat all the way up there. I think that's gonna be way worse than any old geometry. Uh, how's it on the back wheel? Not bad on the front wheel either. So you may have seen, I actually made my own brake pads in my last video. And if you are interested, it's made of polyurethane and the back brake's almost a bit too good now. The bad thing about these pads is they are loud. Even on a smooth rim, they're loud brakes, which is quite annoying, but at least they work. Let's see how this thing arrives on rocks. This will be interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys remember my first ride here on my pink bike, my competition trials bike, but I'm actually managing to ride this a little bit better. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, but it's rubbish. It's rubbish. We've got some issue here. This bike's awesome. <laughs> Right, let's ramp this up a little bit. Got a bigger rock here. Let's give it a try. How did that work? 
Oh, I'm generally quite surprised with how well this bike rides. I thought the long chain stays and low bond bracket would basically limit me to some really low level stuff. But getting up the big side of this is quite hard on any bike, so I'm especially happy to get up it on this. I don't think I could do that in 1997. I've got a few more things I want to try on this, get this a bit smoother, and then some other rocks. Let's see what we can do. Suddenly you remember how big the frame is when you've got to jump off. <laughs> Had to lift my legs so high then. I also didn't quite realise how much a small frame helps with gaps. They're just completely out of the way, whereas with this one, I think because I preload so much, I'm definitely noticing a big frame for that, but it actually rides very well. I reckon I can get this up to back wheel and keep it there. There we go. I think the biggest issue of having such a big frame will be side hops. So I'm gonna try one. <laughs> try not to absolutely mash my chain stays. Oh no, that seat is way up there. seat wasn't so high that would go up <laughs> there we go okay once you get the positioning right not too bad but a smaller frame would definitely make that easier Well guys, I've been having a lot of fun, but I've got some really, really bad news 
this is a bit of a disaster. I was just looking over the bike, making sure everything was good and everything is not good, unfortunately. We have a crack, guys, we have a crack. No, ah, oh, my poor bike. I have no idea whether that crack was already there or whether I've done it while riding now. I didn't notice it when I was building the bike. Uh, it may have been a small crack that I've just made a bit bigger. It may be that the bike so old, the aluminum has become a little bit brittle, but it doesn't matter, it's cracked, which is, I'm actually pretty gutted about that. This is my childhood frame and it's dead. <laughs> I was gonna continue riding, but I'm, I'm not gonna ride a cracked frame. This bike is officially, well, the frame is officially retired. The bike I want to, continue to live on I will replace the frame because having a retro old school bike it's actually really fun I've been really enjoying this I've been quite surprised at how nice it rides I can't believe some of the stuff I can do on this bike I honestly thought I could barely get up a curb on it but no it is a legitimate trials bike so who knows what I will replace this thing with I need to find something cheap YouTube doesn't pay well enough for me to get anything too fancy uh, I would like to get another GT, maybe something a little bit smaller, maybe something steel, maybe a dirt jump frame, maybe something retro, maybe something newer, who knows. If you have any suggestions what I should get, I'm all ears, let me know down in the comments below. If you perhaps have an old frame you think would be suitable and you're willing to sell it, let me know, send me a message and who knows, I might take up your offer. As usual, if you want to support the channel, let me get a new bike. Uh, hit me up on Patreon. Uh, hit me up on my website, aliclarkson.com. Get some merch. Also, some PayPal donations are extremely appreciated. All of these things linked down below. Either way, I hope you guys are okay. I hope you managed to get out, get some exercise, not being driven mad. I'll catch you next time. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>